Hello, hello. Ooh, I should have done a mic check. We're good. Uh, okay. Hello, everyone. Ciao, boy. Doi. Doi nai. Tonight, we will have our class. And in this video, I'm going to tell you what the topic is and what we will be talking about. We're going to go over every question that you will be discussing in the small groups. So you will know everything that we will talk about. But before I get into that, I want to let you know that the meeting ID and password has changed. I changed the meeting ID and password, and I will send the new meeting ID and password to everyone's messenger. So if, if, you're, on the, uh, if you're on the list and you've, you're, if you got, if you got the, the previous meeting idea, meeting ID and password in your messenger already, then you're on the list and you will receive the new one tonight before class. Okay, okay, so let's get started. As always, we're going to be speaking about a topic following a certain outline structure. It always has, um, well, for us, we always do it with five parts. It always begins with a, an intro and it ends with a conclusion. Yeah, and <clears throat> in between those two are sandwiched three main ideas. Yep, let's, let's give us some space. Do, 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 do. All right, now the topic for today is, drum roll, digga, 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 digga. The topic for tonight's class is date ideas. Dating, yeah, woo, dating, yep. It's a romantic Valentine's Day topic for a not Valentine's Day day. Let's write it down. The topic is date ideas. Okay, okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at what date ideas we'll be talking about. Uh, we'll be talking about three. See here? All right, let's go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, creative dates for couples. Um, the first date idea that we're going to be talking about in our small groups is what kind of dates would be fun for shy students? Shy students. Uh, and my answer to this question was... Can you guess? Where are they? They're in a library. Mm -hmm. So here's what I said. You could go to the library together. It's quiet. And if you don't want to talk, then you can read together. Yeah, because shy students sometimes don't want to talk. All right, so let's write that info down. Boop, boop, doo, 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 doo. Okay, okay, so. <clears throat> what kind of date is this? This is a date for shy students. All right, and where will they go? A uh, library. And why? Uh, quiet, no talk. Okay, see? Boo boo, do do. That was our first main idea. And it's about this. There are different date ideas for different couples. Mm -hmm. It supports. Now let's go ahead and move to the second main idea. What will it be? What will it be? You will see. Ooh, it's so cold in my house, and I didn't sleep enough last night, so 
I'm going to need to take a nap before class. All right. The next topic which you will be discussing in your small groups is what kind of dates would be fun for you? Are you a shy student? Would you like to read quietly in a library with, with, your, uh, with your partner? Uh, or are you different? What kind of dates do you like? What do you enjoy? And my answer to this question is this. Can you guess? What is this? This is community theater. Community theater is when uh, people put on plays together and they're not professionals and it's, it's just for everyone. It's public and the community can come together and they can create a play and it's fun for everyone. I wrote, some people love community theater. If that's you, then maybe that would be a cool date. All right, so let's write that info down. Boop, boo, doo, doo, doo. In your small groups, it would be great if someone were writing this stuff down. Everyone's ideas, writing it all down so everyone can see. Uh, here we go. Okay, okay. For who? Shy students? No. For you. Doop, doop. What would you do? Hmm. Community theater. And uh, what's that? <laughs> what is that? Um. Everyone comes together and does theater together. Everyone uh, plays together. <laughs> I need a little more space here. Boop. Okay, okay. All right, so see we have two main ideas already. Remember our topic is date ideas for different couples. And here we've already talked about date ideas for shy students and date ideas for you. And remember, these, these are my ideas, but in class, I want you to think of your own ideas with your group, your group to help each other and think of your own ideas together. Okay, <clears throat> so, now it's time for the final main idea. Let's go. Boo -do 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 -do. Now we're going to talk about, in our small groups, we're going to talk about what kind of dates would be fun for your mom and dad. <gasps> Let's take a look. Ooh, look at that. These two people are old, they're old, and they're gardening. Do you like gardening? Do your parents like gardening? Hmm. And this guy is a younger guy. Maybe he's helping them. Huh. Okay, okay. So, third. Oh. Hold on a second. Okay, okay. Maybe your parents like to volunteer, like this guy. He's helping, <clears throat> he's helping some older people do something that they love and helping them enjoy the outdoors and have a good experience. So my idea for maybe what your mom and dad would like to do together is they could volunteer together. They could help, they could help the elderly or they could go to a school and read to kids, for example. So that would be very nice of your mom and dad to do that. Let's, let's write that idea down. Okay, what would mom and dad like to do? 
and this is this is different for everyone, you know, because everyone has a different mom and dad. Uh, but maybe maybe someone would have a mom and dad who likes to volunteer. Do what? Volunteer, and and maybe even like how how to volunteer. Uh, read to kids or help old people. All right. Boop. Okay, okay. Oh, that looks a little messy. Oh, well. So when you go ahead, when you're reading your presentation, like, no, nah, I'm sorry. <clears throat> anyway, so that's, that's what we're going to be talking about in class tonight. And uh, for your homework challenge, for those of you who are interested in doing the homework challenge, this here is a complete spoken presentation. When you write your own ideas in this structure, following an outline like this, you can speak from that outline like this. I'll show you, I'll give you an example. Um, Everyone likes to go on different kinds of dates. Here are three date ideas for different kinds of couples. First, for shy students, maybe it would be great to go to the library. They can read books and it's quiet. They don't have to talk, so they don't have to feel shy. Second, a date idea for me. <laughs> so uh, uh, one thing that, that I enjoy is community theater. That's when everyone in a community can come together and put on a play. Or, or maybe you could watch the play with your partner just, just to go to a community theater play and watch it. That might be fun. And third, for my mom and dad, maybe they would like to volunteer together if they both like helping, helping other people. For example, they could read to kids after school or they can go to an old people's home and help the old people make a garden. In conclusion, it just depends on what you like or who, who it is that we're talking about. There are lots of different kinds of dates and everyone will want to do something different. Thank you for listening to my presentation. Cut. So that is the final presentation. And if you want to do the homework challenge, then speak your own presentation and make a video and post it in the comments below this video on the Facebook wall. Uh, now that's it, but as a reminder to everyone, just one more time, I want to let you know that I changed the meeting ID and password. I will send it to you in the messenger uh, along with this video. So I hope to see you tonight in class at 8 p.m. Vietnam time. Bye-bye. <laughs>